Hi there, this is Sine coming at you with an unscripted video about how to resolve the dreaded blank page in the WordPress dashboard error. Let's see if this has ever happened to you. You are working on your site and you update a plugin or you revise a theme or you update uh, WordPress's version and suddenly your screen is visible but when you attempt to log in you get a dreaded blank page. Nothing else happens. If that's happened to you, then this video is for you. Here's what I do to resolve that. Now go ahead and attempt to log in. And let's see if this looks like you. Yep, that about covers it. Blank white page. No messages here. Uh, my Headspace plugin that was uh, changing the page URL is completely gone. And I've got nothing. So one of the first things I'm going to do uh, in an attempt to correct this is I'm going to open uh, my FTP client and I'm going to drill in and rename the plugins folder. Now it isn't always plugins but it is mostly plugins. So one thing I'm going to do is simply rename the folder from plugins to X plugins and that's going to force WordPress to not see any of the existing installed plugins. Now what that means for us is frequently that will be enough to bring it back and then we can simply uh, rename the plugin folder and bring back the plugins one at a time to find the one that uh, WordPress is choking on. Now if it's not plugins it's WordPress. If it's not WordPress it's the theme. So I'm, I'm starting with the most likely of the three. Okay, chances are pretty good it's plugins since when I remove the plugins the dashboard does come back. So now it's simply a question of two things. One, go to the installed plugins folder and let WordPress report to you that every plugin that was installed is no longer there. It's no longer valid. Uh, that will has to happen in order for plugin to deactivate each one of these plugins. Now, simply um, renaming the plugin folder without having come and done this step means that I didn't resolve the problem. The next time I come in here, it's going to go away. So I need WordPress to deactivate each of these plugins before I can continue. Now that WordPress has deactivated, I can go back in here, reopen my FileZilla, and rename this to bring my plugins back. Now, while they're back, they're not active. Uh, WordPress still does not see them. And to prove that, I'm going to reopen my plugin folder in another window. And my reason for doing this is I want this list to show me what I did have installed. I want to leave all these little red boxes up here to make sure that I get them all back uh, once I'm done. So I'm going to come over here and you'll see now they're all deactivated. So one at a time, I'm going to bring them back online uh, until I find the one that causes WordPress to go away on the back end. When I find that one, that's the one I'm not going to bring back. Uh, I'll keep going until I've identified which of those that it is. And if I need to, I'll replace that plugin. If it's possible, I'll update that plugin. Uh, but what I won't do is let a plugin be there that uh, no longer is going to let my WordPress work. So I'm just going to go through these, bring them on one at a time until I find the nasty one, and then uh, I'll continue this video. Okay, I should note here, because it wasn't visible when we first activated uh, or brought the plugins back, but I do have 11 plugins that need to be revised. In other words, what I suspect has happened is uh, Paulette updated her WordPress. She used the update service and said update my WordPress version and did that without updating the plugins first and frequently if you've got an older plugin that's maybe no longer compatible with the newer version of WordPress that can be enough to break it so just a rule of thumb before you update your WordPress version you should first go to the plugins folder where the updates are available and update those to the latest version uh, sometimes this will be enough to prevent the type of issue that we're seeing here on this blog. So having said that, I'm going to continue updating everything and I'll be right back. Just a quick note, one thing I am doing is I'm opening each one of these updates in a new window. This allows me to walk through each one of them to see if any fail. Uh, again, I'm simply updating everything. I'll be back shortly. Now that all the plugins are up to the latest version, 
uh, go back to bringing them on one at a time until you find the one that breaks it. Now, don't be surprised if bringing them back doesn't break it. Now that they're all updated, we should have uh, everything we need. Okay, I've been through the whole list. Everything is successfully reactivated, uh, so I didn't really have to do anything further. Just a quick note, if one of these had failed, how I would have dealt with it, because of course when it failed, the uh, dashboard would have gone blank white, I would have gone back into FileZilla and located only the plugin that was giving me grief and renamed that one. That would do the same thing as what we did before and that's force WordPress to no longer be able to see it, which would of course force a deactivation. Uh, that would have brought my dashboard back so that I could continue. So I, I know this video has been really brief, uh, but I hope it helps you if you run into this type of problem in the future, uh, be able to resolve it for yourself. Uh, just remember 99% of the time it is plugins. Uh, so do update your plugins before updating WordPress and don't be surprised if after updating WordPress, some of your plugins now report that they're out of date. Do go in and update them immediately. Okay, this is Sine signing off till next time. Happy blogging!